So here's a thought question. One of the questions in your textbook asks you to describe how noise-canceling headphones differ from standard headphones. So I thought maybe we'd talk about that for a second because we've talked about sound and interference when we come to sound. It's really easy to hear beat fre frequencies, right? The loudness and the softness. But how do noise-canceling headphones work? And it's actually more complicated than you might think. So if you're using headphones to block sound, regular headphones, they just physically block the sound waves. And if they're pretty good and they're well padded, then they can block some sound. But noise canceling headphones, they actually have a whole lot of science going on in them. To make it a little bit, a little bit more simple, we'll just say that they have a device in them that detects the sound wave. And what it does is it creates a wave that has exactly opposite minima and maxima. So what it's doing is instead of blocking it, it's canceling it. It's interfering in a way that's going to make the sound go away. This can actually reduce the noise by 30 decibels. We haven't talked a lot about decibels because it's not really required in this course, but that's a pretty significant sound difference. So the next time you see someone with the noise canceling headphones, they're probably in first class because this is some pretty high tech stuff. But now you know exactly what's happening in that device. It's a pretty cool application of what you're learning this week.